I'm Mike Proctor and I'm here to decode financial terms. What is net worth? Net worth is when you take all your personal assets, your investments, and anything that has value that you own, minus any money you owe anybody else, subtract it out, and that will give you the value of your net worth. Assets are anything you own that have value and are an addition to your balance sheet. Liabilities are anything you owe money on. Uh, or that you could owe money on in the future. Example would be your mortgage, a car loan, or a bill that is going to come due soon. Liquid net worth is the portion of your net worth that is accessible to be able to be utilized. Your checking, savings account, any investment accounts that aren't in retirement accounts. We don't generally include retirement accounts in liquid net worth because you often have a pretty stiff penalty to access that. And those are for retirement or future years. They're not really intended to be used today. So bottom line, liquid net worth is any money you can get your hands on and use today. What is volatility? Volatility is when your investments go up and down, how much they go up and down. And the reason that's important for you to understand and appreciate is that it will happen different classes of your investments. If it's for a, um, what we would call a blue chip stock, some, a company that's been around for a long time, it's very steady and stable. That is going to not go up and down as much as a, a smaller company that hits the news headlines and the price of it might go up quite a bit, but then the next week it might go down just as much. Volatility is how much your investments go up and down. What is risk? Risk is connected to volatility because as your investments go up and down, if you happen to need that money in the short term and your investments went down, risk is that you would actually lose money when you access those investments or funds to pay for something. Um, let's say, unfortunately, you got laid off at work and the stock market went down at the same time and you had to cash out your retirement account. That's risk. Risk is also the fact that you don't know what you don't know because it's very difficult to see a layoff coming. It's also difficult to foresee the stock market coming down. And it's also difficult to foresee events such as the pandemic we're living through right now. What are retirement accounts? Retirement accounts are the type of account in which you can put money into them and use them as a vehicle to invest in other investments such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, uh, or, or even CDs. The retirement account itself is the tax umbrella treatment of the investments within the account. So technically, you can't invest in a retirement account. You invest in investments within the retirement account, and that retirement account umbrella determines if your money is going to come out tax-free, if it's going to be treated as ordinary income when it comes out, or potentially be penalized if you take it out too early. It also can determine if there's no retirement account treatment to it at all, if it is a longer short-term capital gain. What are capital gains? Long-term capital gains happen when it's 12 months or longer after you sell the investment to either cash it out or invest in something else. I hope these explanations gave you some clarity around some of the common investment and financial terms you probably hear. I'm Mike Proctor with Leading Edge Financial Planning.